Hey everybody, it's Emily Carlin and Kelly Herbig for another agronomy update from your KS team. So my team and I, what we've been really focusing in on on the past couple of weeks is taking a look at good seed to soil contact out in your fields and also taking a look at any cold stress emergence that we might have seen from the cold that we had over the past couple of weeks. Um, Kelly, what's the next thing that we need to be focusing in on as we get through the next part of the season? Yeah, so we'll continue to evaluate stands, look at anything from wireworm, white grub, uh, seed corn maggot we'll still probably see some pressure on. But one of the items that we're focused in on now is black cutworm. We're seeing some high trap counts from the University of Minnesota and University of Wisconsin being reported. And so we want to be vigilant um, of black cutworm going forward. Awesome. So how do the how does this insect move into into our area and how do we start to control some of these issues that we might see? Yeah, great question. So we don't see black cutworm every year and that's because it's a migratory pest. So they fly in from the adult moss, will fly up from the south and then as we have these kind of rain events or storm systems, we'll knock them out of the atmosphere. And once they get knocked out of the atmosphere into our backyard, they'll begin laying eggs and they kind of target those weedy fields, you know, where okay. you've got a lot of uh, weed pressure. Um, soybean residue is very attractive to the adult moths and winter annuals is where they'll lay their okay. eggs. So I really like to keep an eye on the no-till fields especially. Okay. Um, but they'll lay their eggs and then shortly thereafter the eggs will hatch, they'll begin feeding on the weeds and eventually we'll move into the corn crop and begin cutting. Okay. So when I look at where we're at with GDU accumulation, mm -hmm. um, we are probably anticipating a cut date in central Wisconsin, central Minnesota to be about the 23rd. Okay. Um, and then looking at the northern area to be a little, just following that mm -hmm. around the 26th is when we'll anticipate them cutting corn. Okay, so as we talk about any protection that we can have for, for this insect or for this pest, what do, what do we protect ourselves against and how do we use our hybrids to, to help with any of the pressure that we might see? Right, and so um, the best form of protection is Herculex 1. So that yeah. would be in most of the Pioneer uh, traded corn, you'd find Herculex 1 for above ground pet, uh, protection and that's going to give you really good suppression of mm -hmm. black cutworm um, larva. Beyond that though, they're gonna, the insects are actually going to need to feed in order to take a bite and have that trait yeah. knock them out. So uh, we need to still stay vigilant even though we do have Herculex in our, mm -hmm. in our products. And really your Roundup only products are the ones that you want to keep okay. the closest eye on from the Pioneer portfolio. Beyond that, Absolutely. our newest products are going to be protected with Lumavia seed treatment, which yeah. is going to give us maybe a little broader spectrum control on some of those other pests that we discussed, mm -hmm. um, and really is going to be solid on black cutworm. Okay. But beyond that, you know, we're really focused in on black cutworm. There's a lot of different cutworm species out there, like dingy, sandhill. Your right. traits aren't going to be the best on some mm -hmm. of those other cutworm species, so that's where you really need to have proper identification and contact your pioneer sales professional if you've got questions on what insects you're seeing in your fields. Absolutely. We have a lot of other agronomy updates that we are going to keep bringing you throughout the rest of the season. So stay tuned for everything that we have as we get through the next part of the season. Yep. And just remember, there's more in your Pioneer bag of corn seed than in any other. And that's what our Pioneer sales professionals bring to the table. Absolutely. Thank you guys. And thank you so much to our sales reps as well for continuing to be out there servicing, servicing your fields. Thanks and have a great day.